This is the Donetsk Regional Government building um, in the centre of Donetsk, and it's been occupied by separatists for about two weeks. It's now the capital of the People's Republic of Donetsk. According to a peace deal that's just been signed, these people are meant to go home, tear down the barricades and free the building uh, in order to de-escalate the situation. We're just going to go and ask some people if they're really going to go home. Um, so this guy is saying, um, well, the agreement says that occupied buildings have to be released. That this isn't an occupied building because it was built especially for the local authorities and we are the local authorities. So it doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Okay, um, so these guys say it's a very, very simple answer. We're staying till the end, until we get our referendum on sovereignty. Um, and we asked them, well, look, if the police come to clear this building after the agreement's been signed, he just said, we're not going anywhere. There's no way we're leaving this place. We found out what the guys on the street think. They think they're not going anywhere. Uh, so we're just about to find out what the official line is from the leadership of the Independent People's Republic of Donetsk. Пришли и заняли эти помещения. После них мы тоже согласны это сделать. Well, I would just listen to Denis Pushulin, who's the head of the Donetsk uh, People's Republic, the self-declared independent state here, and he's just flatly rejected every part of the agreement. He said that Lavrov signed for Russia, not for us. He said he doesn't trust the Kiev government to fulfill their part of the bargain. So quite simply, they're staying in the building. They're still demanding a referendum from ALM. Nothing has changed.